Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be, well, I wasn't sure, I had two ideas, either react to Harry Potter cringe, which there's a lot, or Nigel Farage TikToks, so of course, I did a wheel. So here's the wheel, I just hope that it's good, because I really want to do Nigel Farage, and we got Nigel Farage and it auto-corrected auto to garage, well. I guess I'll be reacting to Nigel Farage TikTok then, because I saw one this morning and it was very humorous. So I guess I'm going to show you his very funny TikToks, in my opinion. It's Christmas in New York and it's really happening. People are out partying, having a good time. We must never allow Christmas to be locked out ever, ever, ever again. It was all a waste of time. But hey guys, it's real fun here. You jealous? Of course I'm jealous, because I'm not in New York with Nigel Farage. On I'm a Celebrity, Matt Hancock got the bronze medal. Boo, hiss. And 400 grand. Now, he closed down schools and universities, stops you visiting your relations, stops you having fun, stops you going out, stops you celebrating end of school, ruin people's lives at uni. Do you think Hancock should keep the 400 grand. Let me know what you think. I do not think he should keep it because he doesn't deserve 400 grand because why do politicians need 400 grand so they can buy so much stupid? Well, I mean, celebrities don't even need that money. But, you know... Oh, it, I didn't even know there was a prize pool to I'm a Celeb. I don't know if there is, but, yeah, weird. Have you seen something about the Just Stop Oil protesters and the people getting up on the gantries on the M25? Have you noticed who they are? The latest one is called Indigo. Generally, they're called Jocasta or Sebastian. They're nearly all upper middle class spoiled brats. Damn, that's, that's a fair point. Who clearly have got nothing better to do in their lives, don't understand fundamental economics. Obviously. Couldn't give a damn about people going about their business. After all, none of these kids will probably ever have to work. He's not holding back at all. I should probably make a video about the, the stop oil things. And hey, if you miss your parents' funeral, it isn't really their fault. But of course, there's been a narrative from Prince Charles, David Attenborough, right through the educational system and most of our political class, that we're all about to die. Remember, China have produced more CO2 since 2013 than we have since 1750. I don't see them paying any reparations. This guy is incredible. He just... God, I love Nigel Farage. He's actually funny. And he brings up a fair argument. They're just middle-class spoiled brats who just don't seem to care about anyone. Like, stopping... like. Tr like motorway traffic's where it could make people not be able to like go to a funeral or something like it's incredibly inconsiderate and it's just pointless because no one's going to stop using oil oil is probably one of the most useful resources there is like i mean the only ones i can think of that are more useful are probably water and metal because metal is actually used to get oil it's Christmas. Celebrations chocolates are going to be in every household. So what goes? Is it the bounty or the Milky Way? I say the Milky Way. Based Farage, let me know in the comments if you're team bounty or team Milky Way. Because I think the bounty should stay. Because the bounty is actually nice and the Milky Way is just mid. Welcoming the CPAC conference, letting you know yeah, that yeah, being, and using, people like and, and yourself using, and using foul language. People like yourself using foul language. Racist, Islamophobics, oh, right. anti-queer. Is, is, is that is that because you can't? You haven't got an argument. Our so, argument is that so, fascists so you, aren't welcome here. I see, That's I see. our face. As you're so here in intellectual, the as you're so intellectual, yeah, define right. the fascist for me. Far right scum like yourself, anti-racist, right. anti-racist. Doesn't that make him? Good, in their eyes. Okay. Anti-queer, okay. people who want to uh, organise as the far right, people who want to have conferences like this where you can talk about how you're going to smash women's rights. Have, have you been society? in the conference? No, I haven't been so inside you, so the, the conference. So the I was outside is, on the, the streets, problem is, the problem standing, is, the problem is, standing with ordinary people problem, against people oh, like you. you. Are you capable? Below inflation. Are you capable? I mean, what's the argument that we should let people like yourself 
who want to blame refugees. People like you who talk about discrimination, who talk about prejudice, actually, you're the ones with the prejudice. You can't have a debate with me without swearing. I don't care about swearing. I, of course you don't. Of course you don't. Because you don't actually have an argument. Are you morally superior? We think that ordinary people should be superior? standing up to people like you, people yes, from the far but, right, but you can't people tell me who why. claim ordinary. But you can't tell me why. Because you're trying to cohere a movement that will take away the rights of some of the most oppressed in the city. Do you think that the virus is some joke? Do you think that it's. Uh, something not, no, no, it's a very good excuse though. for government to, 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 to limit our freedoms. Look, I respect your right to have a different opinion, right? Yeah. I completely respect your right to do that. Here to help you, you, we're here to protest the CPAC conference. I'm not here to have a debate with you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not here to have a debate. I think you should get out of Sydney. Racist, bigots, anti-queer, fascists are not welcome here. So I think you need genuine mental health. Racist, bigots, anti-queer, fascists are not welcome here. Genuine okay, so that was a roller coaster of, well, I don't know how to describe it, but I don't agree about the virus thing. The virus is quite important, but not important. Well, it was it was quite dangerous when it was around. It's still dangerous now, but more people are vaccinated, and like he didn't even have an argument to it, which is it reminds me of the um, Aluski or whatever the fuck he was called, like. He's, he didn't have an argument. I presented one. And he's refused to uh, acknowledge it. And I won the argument. My ego is still quite high, if you can't tell. The Queen is dead. Long live the King. Sad day. But we now have a King. Huh? <laughs> I, I don't... I don't get the point of this TikTok. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, the news is very bad. The Queen clearly is gravely ill. Close family have been summoned. She's been an amazing woman for this country. And I think, actually, all around the world, there will be just vast numbers of people in this country and elsewhere praying and hoping for the best. Um, she did not get better. Um, rest in peace, Lizzie. Well, it's a day off today. Yeah, I'm going out of a Cornish harbour. We're after the big tuna. I could be out of range for much of a day. I'll report back later. My respect for this man has gone up. I like fishing. Fishing good. Yep, I was there at the KSI fight at the O2 on Saturday. Absolutely mega. Now, I did, when interviewed, say this. You and Boris Johnson? Oh, I do. I, I, I could deal with him. <laughs> <laughs> Boris, if you're listening now, let's do it. All right, was that heat of the moment? Or... Boris, are you up for it? That would be a fight to watch. I would love to see <laughs> Nigel Farage and Boris Johnson to scrap it out in the ring. It would be the most intense fight. Screw KSI versus Jake Paul. Nigel Farage versus Boris Johnson at the O2 Arena. I would pay as much money as I could get to watch that. I've been getting loads of comments from you guys asking, am I big chungus why why you people ask this why couldn't they just let the big chungus meme die i'm afraid because of secrecy i can't tell you i know who he is and at some point in the future i'll let you know okay well that is all the clips that i gathered uh, nigel farage is quite funny quite logical and he, he, he appears to enjoy life which is good so anyways that's it for this video the next video would almost likely be the harry potter cringe one and i'll see you guys next time adios